to Tuesday and today I want to talk a little bit about goal setting in language learning, in particular to introduce two different types of goals and distinguishing between them can really help us I think when we're planning out the next stages in language learning. I'm Dr Gareth Popkins, if you're new to the channel here we talk about all things language learning, looking at different methods, the quick tips, reviewing materials, interviews with inspiring language learners, attending language events and related travel. Do subscribe if you haven't done already, it'd be great to have you with us. This is the second vlog of 2019. I'm back in the dining room here at How To Get Fluent Towers. Those of you who are observant and who watched the first one might notice that the Christmas decorations have now gone. I'm a bit behind, but I'm gradually denuding the house ready for the long, dark days of January. January, though, of course, is an inspiring time too, and I'm busy setting my goals for the year, and as I said in the first quick tip of the year, trying to, you know, put the brakes on a bit and not to bite off more than I can chew. I'm going to start a new language this year, and I'll announce that next Tuesday here in this slot, what it's going to be. But as I do that, I'm thinking about two different types of goals. One is what I'd call my overall vision goal for me and this language. What level do I want to attain in it? What do I want to be using it for? I am, am I aiming for just enough to get by as a tourist? Do I want a good working knowledge for daily life? Or do I eventually want to work as a professional using this language at the very highest levels? It's great to have this overall vision because then we can start to plot a course in that direction and have realistic time expectations. But the way to move forward at all then, of course, is to break that down into interim stages. And those are what I'd call the path goals as opposed to the vision goals. To mix the metaphor, think of the ultimate goal as the summit of a mountain perhaps, and the staging posts as sort of camps as you go up it. The thing is, when you get to a certain camp, then you can have a rest. You can consolidate for a while. Uh, you're not necessarily under pressure to move ahead. Or if you fall behind on the way to, to the first or a later staging post, then uh, you may be able to make up time later on. It doesn't mean that your ultimate goal falls. My language learning projects are usually quite big. Uh, I'm usually aiming at least for a working knowledge, so I've got a time frame usually which is longer than a year, certainly, uh, for learning for where I want to get in a language. So I often choose interim uh, path goals of maybe three months hence. And I'm thinking at the moment about what period I'll be using for my new language and what my first aims are going to be for that first period. I've got a question for you, which is, uh, have you uh, used the idea of path goals in your language learning in the past? And if so, uh, what's the period that you like to use for your uh, next milestone, if you like, as you move along? Let me know in the comments below. If you're about to start a new language, though, as I am, or if you've fallen off the wagon a bit with a the language, then freshening up the vision, but also setting some clear intermediate path goals, I think is a good way to start in the new year. On Tuesday then, I'll be announcing my new language project and telling you uh, what I see as my vision goal at the moment and what my first path goal is going to be. There's going to be a vlog, something completely different coming up on Thursday. It'll be actually one I shot at the Polyglot Gathering in Bratislava last summer, but have only just finishing edit finished editing over the Christmas break. It's a fun one though, so if you're interested in what language learner events are like, that's going to be one for you. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time, and don't forget to subscribe for the vibe, throw me a thumbs up, tickle that bell, and share the affair. Bye.